everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have another cutest cows project for you. This is the third in my series. If you're looking for more ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There are two there in the, or there's three there in the post, um, as well as a bonus one that will follow the Monday after. Um, this project is not my design. It was done by my downline, Laura Roderick. She gave me this when we were in Houston at Onstage, and I was like, that is the cutest thing I have ever seen. It was my favorite thing I received while I was in Houston. And I asked her if she wouldn't mind if I made a video to show you guys how to make it. And she was very generous and kind and said yes. So thank you, Laura. I love it. It's really um, simple and not complicated. If you've never seen these, they're called Milk Magic Straws. And basically, they've got these they're plastic straws that have these little beads in them um, that taste like, this one I think is cookies and cream. Um, kids love these. It's kind of a crazy thing. You can uh, put it in your milk. Um, it says do not cut, easy to use. Stick a cookies and cream straw into a fresh glass of milk and sip. So I guess it flavors your milk. Um, but too funny, kids will love it. This one is chocolate, this one is cookies and cream. I actually ordered a variety pack from Amazon. I'll have these linked for you. I have seen them in stores at Target. Um, so if you have a Target, you might be able to find them there too, but I'll have the link for you. Okay, really easy. We're going to make this holder using Early Espresso. I really love the colors that Laura chose, Early Espresso and uh, Balmy Blue. I have really just been using Pecan Pie lately. I forgot about Early Espresso. It's such a great, dark, rich brown. So I knew that I wanted to use it too. All right, you're gonna start with a piece of early espresso that is eight by three and a half. On the long side, score it at three and three fourths, and let me move that, four and a fourth. And then turn it and score it at half an inch and three inches on the short side. Now, if you watch my previous video where we made a candy bar slider, it's made exactly like this, just different, just bigger. So when I, I had actually made that one and then uh, started putting together this one, I realized, wow, they're made exactly the same. So once you've made one, you'll know how to make the other. Now burnish those lines and snip the score lines just on the long side. All right, now take your tear and tape and we're just gonna put it right here on one side. Okay, now peel off those backings and fold it up and press those tabs there into the back like that and then fold this in and wrap it around and just give it a little hug, like that. They're the same size, okay? So there's the, the part that's gonna hold our, the bottom part that's gonna hold our um, straws. And I can see that my little tab here is poking out, so I'm gonna snip that off. The way you can prevent that if you have that happen is to cut the corners off of those tabs. Um, before you put it together. All right, now this piece is Early Espresso, nine by two and a half, and I just put adhesive there on the bottom, and we're gonna slide it in the, the back side of our holder. Let's get it nice and flush. Okay, and take your bone folder, push that down in there. Okay, hopefully I got it in there far enough. I can't really feel, yeah, I think I did. Now we've got a piece of balmy blue that we're gonna put right here. This piece is five and a fourth by two and a fourth. And now I've got Early Espresso DSP from the Neutrals pack. Put that right there. And then put that right there. And there's your cute little holder. Let's put in our straws. Where did I set my straws down? Right here. And we'll put those in there. Now, I would recommend, so that they don't slide out, putting a dimensional down there on the bottom. And then you can just kind of push that in like that. And that way, they're, they're not in there terribly tight. They're not gonna slip out. 
Um, but the person who is receiving these can just pop it out and it, it, uh, it won't tear it or anything. All right, now I'm gonna take this uh, balmy blue center stripe ribbon and I'm gonna tie it around the center. Like that. You know, three videos I've made today without my ribbon scissors, you'd think I'd stop and get them, but I haven't. <laughs> I just keep using my paper snips, which I don't like to cut ribbon with. They're not very sharp for that. They're not, they're kind of gunky. Okay, easy peasy, right? Now, Laura also kind of folded that back, which I liked. Kind of makes it a little nice and neater like that. All right, let's make our cow. Now, to get your uh, stamps on your block in the correct position, you want to take a scrap piece of paper and punch out your cow throw all that away, and then you're gonna lay your clear pieces down in there, then lay your block on there and pick them up, and then they are exactly where they need to be. I showed exactly how to do that in the previous video, the chocolate slider, so if you need help on that, go back and watch that video, and it'll show you exactly how to do that. All right, Memento Black. I liked how Laura just kept things simple. Um, there's not a lot of crazy pieces to this, if you're gonna make this project, you're probably gonna make multiples of it. And uh, I always seem to just keep adding and adding and adding things, which makes it a lot more complicated. But Laura, she just made the little cow and made a little uh, sentiment and called it done. And I, again, I said it was perfect. I was like, this is such a fun project. I love everything about it. All right, so pecan pie. And then I'm gonna take my petal pink dark. I'm gonna give him some little cheeks too. Put the color under his ears. And then for his hooves, you wanna use your basic black Stampin' Blends, like that. All right, now he'll be lined up perfectly and you can punch him out without wasting a whole bunch of paper. Okay, dimensionals. We're gonna put him, let's put him down here at the bottom. Uh-oh, I may have put my dimensionals in the wrong place. Let's see. Nope, they're good. Okay, and then we'll put his little head right here. I use the winking cow. You can use, there's several faces on there that you can use. There's three different faces. All right, now the stamp, we're gonna stamp in early espresso on a basic white. Um, banner, stitched banner. Milk it for all it's worth. I think that is such a funny sentiment. And last but not least, we're just going to set that right across there. And there you have it. All right, you guys, a fun, cutest cow project. I hope you like it. Again, thank you, Laura, for the project and for the permission to show everybody how adorable it is and how to make it. All right, make sure you click the link here on my blog. Go back, click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. I've got several other projects for you and a free PDF with measurements and supplies. All right, everybody, happy stamping. Bye.